Howdy folks, welcome to episode 7 of this Humpty Doo Save. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to be on the road again to Nullumboy before playing our semi-final game against Adelaide River. This is a highly anticipated clash coming up against the great George Fakakakas, so it'll be interesting to see how the boys go today. We've played just the two games since we last saw you, a 5-0 win over Litchfield before absolutely thumping Alice Springs Celtic 15-0. So the Nolan Boy trip will take us about 27 to 28 hours. We've got to go a thousand kilometers for this. And as you can see, it's not a straight line. It's actually having to go right around no matter which way we go. So that means that uh, Nikos Giorgio will have a lot of time on the bus and I'm sure his teammates are dreading that. And in some very interesting news, it looks like the great George Fakakakis is going to be leaving the competition uh, at the end of this year. So he's looking to go to a Greek club, Larissa. So that will be very interesting. A, a big loss for the Australian competition. I would have thought that he may have actually gone a little bit higher, maybe into the A-League. But, you know, probably a bit homesick. So it's good news for us because I'm sure we would have come across him again. So let's get into today's fixture against Nullum Boy. So we're going with the two up front today. So Splash and the boy that can't be named up front there. This of course also means that our wingers drop back into the midfield just to shore that up. And Shen has come into the side for Wayne Kerr. And it's good to see the youngster nicked off on the bench. As the players come on to the field and ready for kickoff. Three minutes in, nothing really happening there. Couple of fouls to each side. Couple of shots on goal there, but it is Dixon Balls in the red today. And it is Astley puts it on to the woodwork and it is completed there by Zars. So nice early goal in the seventh minute. So one nil. So let's watch that again. Dixon Balls crosses it in. Astley goes up, hits the woodwork and then Zars is there to clean up. Great start for the boys. So Giorgio. The man himself there throws it into the boy that can't be named, crosses it in there, but it's defended well by Hoda from Nullum Boy. And it is far too has a shot and just wide there. Not a bad effort though. So Nullum Boy on the attack, but again Dixon Ball dispossesses that player there. And Boy's on the attack again, trying to get the goal. But a good stop there by Haywood. Has done pretty well, although. Crossing it in there on his right foot and then it goes harmlessly over the bar. So Dixon Balls with the free kick, crosses it in there. It's defended well there by Leighton in the Nullum Boy colours there. But uh, Shen has taken it off but um, and managed to regain the possession there. Crosses it in to no effect. Nullum Boy with the ball but again they're really struggling to get out of their half there. And it's been intercepted there by Astley again. Flea Balls back to Chuma Fat there. And there's Flea Balls again. And Giorgio... And they're just playing with the Nullum Boy attackers at the moment, just pushing it backwards and forwards there until they get the opening they want. There's Nullum Boy putting it down the left though, and they have an attacker. There's Scott Krebs, the Kiwi sensation. Selinovic, who actually gets the goal there. Yeah, that was actually a really good counter attack there. There's Krebs there, crossing it back there, and there's Selinovic is ready to finish but the defenders really weren't there and Dick Meister makes a real mess of that. So 1-1. One, one. So the Nullum Boy fans will be very happy about that. A bit disappointing from the defence. It's us with the corner now crossing it in there. It's defended quite well. There's Shen there holding it up but it's defended well there. Gee, that was lucky there. Haywood was beaten there. Really dropped the ball badly, but no damage done. There's Ars now on the attack. Crosses it in there, and this time it hits the woodwork as well. They clear quickly, trying to go for the counter. There's Krebs again. And he's really having a good battle there with Chuma Fat. So it's Ars now crossing it in for the corner, and Dixon Balls is there. Crosses it back to Astley. Dixon balls again, and that was actually really slick there. Fuckboy with the goal. 2-1 in the 25th minute. So Dixon balls there. Holds the ball up. Pushes it back to Astley. Back to Dixon balls, and the money ball was there. 11 shots to 3 now. So just starting to pull away there. And Zars on a big run down the left-hand side there. Preparing to cross it in there. It's intercepted by Morgan from Nolan Boy, and he pushes it forward again. 
They're trying to get that quick counter happening, but they can't properly clear it. Zars crossing it in again, and there's Boy with his second and his 45th for the season. A very good year, which has actually even led to international duties for him. And just watching the replay now, Dixon Balls once again holds it up for Zars, and then Boy, very good in the air there, manages to beat the keeper, Haywood. So 3-1 now in the 28th minute, a uh, bit of uh, daylight between the two teams now after Nolan Boy uh, got it back to 1-1. They're yeah, back again there in defence there, but they're really struggling to get anything happening there. Although that's a beautiful ball to Krebs, and Krebs is going to get a, a goal there. So that's his 24th goal for the season. They've brought it back to 3-2. So they've gone route one there, and the defence really wasn't ready for that. And then Krebs just runs onto the ball and beats Dick Meister pointlessly there. And that is very good from, uh, from Nolan Boy. They're actually doing well. Hey, there's Haywood with the ball from the back. And then Nugent pushing it through there, but Giorgio's there to clean up there. And then there's Shen playing around with the ball there. A very tall man, standing proud, Eric Shen. And there's Boy with, I think that's goal number three for him today. And that is 4-2. So just as Null and Boy think they've got something happening there, we always just have that little bit more class just to sort of push away again. But the tall man, Eric Shen, standing proud there, really does well there. Manages to hold the ball up and then thread the needle for the goal there. Good cross from Giorgio as well. And we're in the 41st minute there, farts with the throw in there. It's intercepted by Nolan Boy there. And Ashley does something a little bit bizarre there. Probably over-exaggerates that. But uh, yeah, interesting. Uh, there's Shen there putting the ball through there to Boy again and Boy holding it up there waiting for attackers to get into position there. There's flea balls and splash with the head but it's put over the bar by Haywood. As we're just before half time there and Nolan Boy with the ball, Clissold puts the ball through. But Farts cleans up there, there's Astley as well and Chumafat pushing it forward. But it is actually Nolan Boy who control it quite well there, although they've just been dispossessed with Georgia with the ball pushing forward now. Nugent putting the ball forward. They're really looking for Scott Krebs there, but uh, haven't been able to find him on that occasion, but he's actually been very dangerous for them today. And there is Splash with the ball, putting another ball forward to Boy who has the lead. Unselfishly crosses it to Splash, with, uh, to uh, Dixon Ball, sorry, but he's unable to do anything with it. Although they have won the corner, Zars putting the ball across now. Up they go, but it has actually been cleared quite well from the line there, although Dixon Balls gets the scrap. And Zars puts another dangerous cross there. Haywood is too good for that one though. So 4-2 at half time, and we're going to bring Doff on for Dick Splash. Let the youngster have a bit of a run. And we're also going to bring Wayne Kerr on for Eric Shen. As we kick off the second half, we've got... Uh, Farts with the ball now, crossing it through there. And there's Dixon Balls trying to run on. There's the boy again. Can he get another go? Oh, he's just missed that one, but a good effort. 4 2, 51st minute. And Hoda puts it forward there. There's Astley defending it. Uh, Farts holding it up, and there's us again. Been a very strong play for us this year. And back to Flea Balls there. There's Giorgio to Kerr, who came on at half time, and he crosses it in. and He's denied by the keeper. Probably should have gone the cross. He's gone the shot instead. Kerr with the corner now. Crosses it in there. And that's denied by the defence. And put over again. But it looks like we've won another corner there. Kerr with the return corner now. Crosses it in again. Missed by the boy. And he's taken it over the sideline. So Nolan Boy will get the ball back from that throw. So Giorgio on the sideline there. Preparing to throw it in for Boy. Kerr takes the ball out, there's Giorgio putting the ball forward, there's Boy again, can he get number four? No he can't, he's been denied by the keeper again. So they've actually had 21 shots on goal with 11 on target, so we really are blowing out the XG, but we're still only two goals in front, so interesting. So Zars puts it across, and there is Nick Doff, his 11th goal of the season, and that is the fifth goal of the day for Hunt to do. 20 minutes remaining, but Doff gets above the pack there, although he was just one defender really. And the head is good. Just going to make another substitution now. Going to bring Bannerman on for Astley. So Bannerman's going to play in the defensive line rather than on the right where he normally plays. So Astley being replaced there. 
So just over 10 minutes of real time, the regular time should I say, as uh, Nolan Boy cross over but Giorgio picks up the scraps there. Holds up the ball, puts another ball through there, no runners through though, and late and cleans up for Nolan Boy. Farts with the throw into flea balls, back to Farts, and then Zars is running it upfield, puts the ball through, but it's intercepted quite well by the Nolan Boy defence. Oda pushes it forward there, and there's Krebs again, doing very well. A uh, little on the left there, holding the ball up nicely. And there's Leighton again there, but Giorgio is back there to clean up the mess. Okay, looks like Bannerman is actually... Oh, straight red for Bannerman. Oh, that's a little bit awkward. So, with 10 minutes remaining, we're down to 10 men. We should have enough in the tank to manage this win, but uh, yeah, a bit disappointing. And careless, it really didn't need to be done. As they go for the free kick, it goes harmlessly over the top there, which much to Dick Moss's relief. Trim of Fat playing it out from the back now. There's Giorgio. Putting it forward there, but the defence is there in numbers. There's Hoda pushing it forward, looking for Krebs again, but can't find him this time. There's Morgan, actually does well to regain the ball there. Flea balls, and Dixon balls now putting the ball through. He's found Kerr, and Kerr has done very well, beating the keeper pointlessly. The defence sort of held off him a little bit too easily there, and gave him too much room. So 6-2 in the 85th minute. So just five minutes of regular time to go there. Kerr doing really well, but it was a really good ball there, and yeah, beats the keeper easily. And Little with the corner there, crosses it in there, Dick Meister is good for the save, does very well. So we're only looking at a couple more minutes of regular time. So 6-2, pretty comfortable in the end. Although they are on the attack now, and there is Gillespie, Simon Gillespie with the goal, it's his fifth of the season. So 6-3. I can't see them scoring another four goals to win this game in, in a couple of minutes, but they've done quite well there. They're actually competing very well, and it'll give the home fans a little bit of joy. So as we go into injury time there, it's still 6-3 there. It's sort of end-to-end -end at the moment, ball, ball being kicked forward again. There's Krebs, the Kiwi sensation, doing very well. Scotty Krebs, and uh, he's in the box there, trying to hold it up, and it looks like... Missalides has scored the fourth goal for now anyway. So a bit of a leaky defence there, although remembering we are a player down there. So injury time should just about be up as well. We do have a free kick though, and it's Dixon Balls to take it. Puts it in there and puts it wide. The keeper has to do nothing there. And that is full time. 6-4 win to the boys. And again, that's Given them an 11 point lead on the table, although Adelaide do have a game in hand. They had another good win. Fucker Carcass with two more goals to add to his lovely telly. And good to see we got a 14 match winning streak. And our Harry Cool assistant coach has left us for Melbourne City. Hardly surprising, we couldn't really afford to keep him this time anyway, as we prepare for the Adelaide River Coca Cola Cup game. So this time we are going with one up the front. We've got the wingers back. There's that man fucker carcass on that team list. And uh, the boys are lining up very, very enthusiastic about this game. They're, they're playing it at home in front of their home crowd, which will be great. But it's Scammer with the ball now, strolling up the field there and putting it to Zars, who holds the ball up nicely for Wilkins. Wilkins holds it up and it is over the sideline. One shot to nil. Keeper puts it out the back for Adelaide River. They push that ball through and these fights at the back cleaning up. Adelaide River with the ball there. Fucker Carcass puts it back to the winger there. Struggling to read their names to be frank. Okay, there's fuck that bitch there for Adelaide River. A good defender by all accounts, so we might even be looking at him for next season because we do have Good intel that's saying that Rick Astley may be leaving us at the end of the year. And there's fucker Carcass scoring his obligatory goal there. It is 1-0 to Adelaide River in the fifth minute of play. So we knew that he would always be a threat there, but we were hoping that we could hold him out for a lot longer than five minutes. So a little bit disappointing there, but the Golden Greek, there he goes, bang, into the net. And Fisher has no chance. So a very tight game at the moment. Four shots to two for us, but... Uh, 
they have the important advantage, which is the goal in the net. So Fisher playing it out from the back there. There's Chuma Fat now holding the ball up, pushing it through to Scammer. It goes out to Zas, who's holding it up again, just trying to get runners in position and, and players into better positions for the attack. Puts a beautiful ball through there, although it's defended very well by Adelaide River. But Wilkins does well there, gets the ball, and it is Kerr that finishes that movement well. But that goal is all down to Bill Wilkins' defense, uh, defensive work, first of all, and then the ability to switch defense into attack really quickly. So Scammer with the head there. Nothing much on there, but Orsi uh, gets badly beaten there, and Wilkins just takes the ball, and Kerr's there to pick up the scraps. We're way in front of, on XG, but uh, there's still 1-1 one, one on the scoreboard. Not a lot happening there. There's Giorgio with the throw now. Wilkins crossing it back to Giorgio. He puts a lovely cross through. There's Wilkins there, but it's defended well by Wester Studi, the Adelaide River goalkeeper. Holds the ball up, pushes it forward, looking for fucker carcass there. Finds him, but he's unable to control the ball, and it's back to Giorgio now. And there's Kerr uh, running down the right again. Been dispossessed that time by Moonrima, so interesting play there. Although we're on the attack again there, and Zas has got the second goal. Does very well. Doesn't panic in front of the keeper. Just sums up the situation and puts it past him. Excellent goal. So yeah, but it was Scammer there with the in, um, the interception there. Then to Boy, and then Zas in his big space there. He's able to, with pinpoint accuracy, put it into the net. So 35 minutes in, we have a corner. There's Kerr crossing it in there. Defence is unable to clear it, although they've done pretty well to dispossess Wilkins there, although Feebles has picked up the scraps from that. Puts it back to Giorgio, and that's been intercepted by Castro. Can he actually get the ball through? No, he can't. There's Foster, though, putting it forward, but there's no one there for Adelaide River. Giorgio picks up the ball to Feebles. Kerr running onto it again. Can he beat the keeper? He has. 3 1. It's one thing about Kerr, he is an amazing finisher. And he's very, very quick as well. So uh, really puts the keeper under tremendous pressure there. But again, beautiful ball by Flea Balls. But look at the pace of Kerr to actually streak the defence and then just rounds the keeper and just beats him easily. Excellent goal. So from 1-0 down to 3-1 in front, that's actually really big turnaround there. And I think the big problem with Adelaide River is that it is a fucking carcass or nothing sort of show at the moment. George has been very strong for them, but uh, he's been the only one that's really stood up. And there's that bitch there putting the ball through to fucker carcass again, but fucker carcass can't control it. Flea balls gets pulled down there, but it's play on from the referee. There's Kerr putting it back to flea balls as he pushes forward. Defense is coming, but he's put a beautiful cross in there, and it looks like. Orsi might have given away a penalty here. He has. Kerr to take it. And it's been saved. So the keeper's done very well there. That could have been 4-1 there. So that would have been game over. They're still in the game at 3-1, I think. Uh, there's Kerr there, streeting down the right again. He'd be very disappointed with that penalty miss. But he's playing very well otherwise. There's Ars again. Can he put it in 4-4? Four, four? He does. 20th goal for the season for him. Excellent job. So once again, curse pace down the sideline. He just sets everything up there, and Zars is in freedom. There's no one marking him, and he's just able to move into the space he wants and then put the ball away. Great job. He's just coming into half time now. 20 shots on goal to two, so the boys I know were very up for this game, so great to see. Toss and cock off coming on for Scammer at half time, and Goldschmeckel's going to come on for Astley as well. 22 shots to 3 in the 54th minute. Not a lot of highlights happening at this point in time. But uh, the boys are very happy there as the Adelaide River goalkeeper puts it out there. Kerr again back to Giorgio. To Goldschmeckel. And there's Truma Fat there holding the ball up. Toss cock off with the ball. Out to Farts now. He's uh, looking to line up Zars. He does it so easily. And then there's Boy there. It's almost like a training on that. That's spied one now. Bart's just holding the ball up and then just pushing the guy forward, making sure that Zars is clear. Zars just runs to the line there and then puts Boy into the goal, basically. Just puts the ball right on his foot. He doesn't have to do much but touch it with his foot. 
And Boy's going to come off now. We're going to bring the, the youngster on, Lucky Bolger. It's the first time we've probably mentioned him in the save. So he's only a young fella, but has a lot of potential. So Foster for Adelaide River crosses it in there. It's saved very well there by uh, Fisher. So that's a good job there. They're still attacking though, but France is there to defend and there's Kerr and Giorgio. Closing ranks there, and then going for the counter-attack there. So Bolger, the big red-headed fella there, got the ball for the first time. There's flea balls there to Goldschmeckel. There's Bolger. I don't know whether he's... I don't know whether Bolger's actually played before, but he definitely hasn't played in the save, so that you actually son. So he might have played some of the other games. And again, just, just teasing the defence and just running straight to them and then just putting the ball in. 17th goal of the season for Ryan Kerr. So 6-1. So this has been a really one-sided game after I after thinking that it was really going to be a tight one. Adelaide River, yes, I know that they're a little bit behind us on the table, but they do have a lot of capability in their team. So fuck a carcass with a kick off to Castro and they are really struggling there. Um, their morale, their heads are down, although Fucker Carcass is holding the ball up to see if they can get something happening there. There's Castro, they're holding the ball up, crossing it in, but there's no one there. There's Farts there, cleaning up the mess. Back to Fisher, puts the ball down the middle, can't beat the uh, defence there, and Fucker Carcass has a shot. Good effort, actually, but uh, just goes a little bit wide of the keeper. And Foster with Adelaide River, just putting the ball forward there, but it's defended easily. There's Wilkins there, there's Bolger. Just wondering if the, the lad can actually get a goal on the board. Giorgio pushing the ball forward again, but there is no one there. That bitch is back there and defending very well. Although the clearance is a little bit iffy again. Chimafat pushing it forward. Wilkins preparing to cross it in. There's the Bulger there. Can't quite get his foot on the edge of that. But, um, you know, he had a good go at it. There's Tossa Cock off now to Kerr. Kerr puts it in and Wilkins gets goal number seven. His 14th of the year. So it's 7-1 with injury time to go, basically. I think Adelaide River will be very disappointed with that effect. They, uh, they had high expectations for this game, although the smart money was still on us. And that's full time. So 7-1. And uh, it looks like we're going to be playing ECU Drundalup in the final. They've had a very close 1-0 win over Coburn City. And Lucas Neal has officially agreed to be our new assistant coach. He was working with the boys in a different capacity, but due to Harry Cool leaving us, we needed an assistant. So excellent news. Anyway, we're going to leave it there today. Thank you for your attention today, and I look forward to seeing you all in episode eight. Look after yourself, guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye.